Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joseph. So this is a very special video because I did not plan to make this video at all. But this video is specifically made to address some of the errors that I have made in writing the population balance equation in the previous two videos that I've released. Although we did not specifically uh, zoom in into the details of the population balance equation on how to manipulate them mathematically um, but i noticed that i've written something that is not correct and i want to in this channel as much as possible to present things that are mathematically accurate but before we go on as usual if you find my channel helpful please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button and i'll really appreciate your support on my channel in the last two videos that i posted i showed this particular general population balance equation in the videos but in this general population balance equation there is a uh, misrepresentation here in the sense that these terms here should not be written as such right the terms relating to the velocity of the internal coordinates and the velocity through the external coordinate space should not be written as these two partial derivative i'll explain in the next slide why this is so so let us imagine that we have a particle that is initially at a particle state of x0 and r0 x0 being the initial state in the internal coordinate space whereas r0 is the initial state at the external coordinate space which means the physical space so beginning at this initial state with time as time goes on you would imagine that the particle would cruise through the internal and external coordinate space and eventually arrive at a coordinate that we denote as capital letter X and capital letter R. So the trajectory of the particle through the internal and external coordinate space would fulfill these two ordinary differential equations simultaneously. Right? Given the initial condition, we would be able to track the trajectory of the particle throughout the internal and external coordinate space. So as long as we have we know the velocity, this dx dt and dr dt here, they represent the velocity in the through the internal coordinate space and the velocity through the external coordinate space. But this is for the trajectory of a particle that originates from a particular initial state or a fixed point in the continuum of internal and external coordinate space. If we are able to actually compile all the solution or all the trajectory of the particle that originates from a particular initial state and we are able to compile them and compile the trajectory of the particles moving through the internal and external coordinate space with time then we would say that we are able to describe the trajectory or the solutions of x and r small x and small r by these two differential equations these two equations which represent the velocity of the particle through the internal and external coordinate space should be the term that is in the general population balance equation which is highlighted in yellow here so this should be the term that is in the general population balance equation and not the ones that i have presented in my previous video don't worry in the future videos i will talk a little bit more about the population balance equation and we will go into the details for now i just want to make sure that i clear any confusion and clarify any mistakes that i have made in my previous video I hope this video is helpful to you and I'll see you in the next one.